So today, chimps, we've got a 1993 Gibson Les Paul, prehistoric, uh, 57 reissue. It's a Les Paul Custom. It's got a mahogany top on it. Well, it's got a mahogany. Ma 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 ha ha. <laughs> it's got a mahogany body. Um, the weight on this guitar is 10 pounds, two ounces. The neck is a chunky 50s neck. We'll give you the caliper measurements. The uh, nut width is 1.73 inches. The depth at the first fret is 0.89 inches. And the depth at the 12th fret is 1.03 inches. It's got an ebony fingerboard. Uh, it's got our trusty 57 classic pickups. You know, I, this is just a wonderful Les Paul Custom. To me, it's, you know, these older uh, historic or, or prehistoric customs. It's really what a modern day custom to me should be. Um, enough of me though, we'll, we'll hear you play it, Rich. <laughs> okay. neck pickup. Okay. So here's the um the two pickups. Okay. Here's the um bridge pickup. Okay, so let's go to overdrive. Okay. Here is the Mondo distortion sound with this. Neck pickup. All right. Both pickups. That sounds great. I gave this one an eight out of 10. It's got some light scratches, uh, some dings, and a little bit of wear to the back. It also has tarnish to the uh, um, the gold hardware. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, we can see the tarnish on the gold. And we can see lots of little scratches over that pit guard and the guitar. But I mean, hey, it's a 93 black custom. I'm gonna have some scratches. And we've just got dings throughout that you can see scratches, dings. Okay. 
Then I should also mention that the pit guard on this is not uh, original. Um, so we just have to fit it in there. You can see that it's like kind of barely off. You can't notice it though unless I point it out. And the ebony fingerboard on this is good looking. The frets are great on this. There's no wear on the frets. In front of the headstock. Looks good. We just got some scratches, nothing crazy. Okay, let's get this thing flipped over. Serial number on this is 35180. There's your uh, historic collection uh, logo. And the back of the headset looks great. There's no uh, cracks, no nothing. There's a little bit of, uh, it's like clear code, like kind of cloudiness. You can kind of see it. If I was to let's see if we can. Yeah, that's pretty normal on these older guitars. Okay, but there's no cracks, there's no, there's none of that, there's no repairs. Okay, we'll continue scrolling down. We've got a few little dings and that sort of thing on the back of the neck. Nothing, um, nothing crazy. Okay, the back of the guitar, like I said, we do have a little bit of wear on the back. gave this guitar an eight you know I probably give this is like a 7.5 I'll change that so if you're looking at the listing we'll call this a 7.5 it's not in bad shape it just has a little bit of wear There you have it on that one.